Hello viewers, nice to be with you again. My name is Tude Dada, a pastor with the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders Family in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the Word of God again. And our topic for today is double portion, where from? Oh, what a question. Our Bible passage for today is James, the first chapter. I read from verse 16 through to verse 18. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Our memory verse, James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. A reflection. Today's lesson from the Open Heavens Daily Guide is a, revelation, is a serious revelation uh, from the Lord. Pastor Adeboye, the General Vassal of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, taught us today that we need to recognize and give credence to the source of our blessings. Looking at the case of Elisha, when he prayed for the double portion of the anointing of Elijah, the man of God told him that he asked for a hard thing. This is because Elijah knew that he did not lie in his power to grant the request or to decline the, re the request. But pressing his point with James chapter 1 verse um, 17 that states that every good gift comes from above, from the Father of lights who gives without variableness. Pastor Adeboye said, when Elijah was taken, he went into heaven. Then the mantle was sent down with a double portion of the anointing of Elijah. Many people think it was Elijah who delivered Elijah's request to him. No, my brother, my sister. There was no way he could give what he did not have, which is why Elijah told Elisha, he asked a hard thing. He simply took the mantle with him and God released the double portion of the anointing on Elijah upon it for Elisha. Even when the anointing oil is poured on you, the power is released from above. When Elisha wanted to cross River Jordan, he put the mantle and struck the river and asked, Where is the Lord God of Elisha? Elisha knew the source of his anointing. That being the, that being the case, I urge you, my brother, my sister, from now, that whenever God uses a vessel to bless you, you must remember the giver of the vessel and not just the vessel, you know, that was used as an instrument. You need to remember that whatever you have is from the Lord. No wonder David said in Psalm 121 verse 1 to 4, that he turned to the hills for his help because his help is from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Look unto him from now and he will release his blessing to you from his storehouse. A key point for today. If you want any definite blessing from heaven, look up to God. Don't look at any man, but look up unto God because he is the giver of every good gift. He is the source of all things. And remember, if your ways are right with him, he will give whatever you request of him, even according to his will for your life. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let's just pray. Our Father, we thank you because we know you are the giver of all gifts. We ask of you, O God, Lord, for grace, O God, to tap into that double portion that only comes from you. That, Lord, henceforth we will not look at the vessel that you are using to deliver the gifts to us, but we will look up to you, even the giver of every good and perfect gift. Lord, we thank you as we set even to our daily endeavors today. Father, we ask, O oh God, that your grace will see us through and deliver all that you have meant for us today, that we will not miss any of it. In Jesus' name.